Hello everyone, this is Minji from Minji Tutus Korean. Korean language used by native Korean speakers is significantly different from what you've learned from textbooks, right? And I think this could be a frustrating point for those who've diligently studied through conventional methods. However, if we switch our perspective a bit and focus on these differences, we can quickly sound like a native Korean. I'm not saying like the textbooks are useless, but there are ways that we can speak Korean effectively. So in this video today, as a Korean teacher, I would like to introduce methods to overcome this challenge. Alright, so let's dive into the first tips for learning Korean. If you are just starting out, if you are a beginner, immersing yourself in a Korean language environment is crucial. This is the key. So when you are surrounded by the language, you will observe more than words and grammar. You will also observe the intonation naturally. So here's what I would like to suggest. Begin by calling objects around you every day in Korean. For example, when you go out to eat, try to guess and look up in a dictionary and find out the Korean names for utensils, for instance. Or you can learn basic phrases for ordering food in Korean. In that way, you will gradually build vocabulary and confidence. Actually, being confident is another key to be good at a language, right? And at least aim to be able to explain everything about yourself, like who you are, what you do, what you like, and so on. Like this, once you've got those essentials down, we can start to move on to the next step. However, one, no, this is 11. However, one thing you might overlook is learning unique way Koreans Think. For example, the usage of kada to go and oda to come is significantly different from English. What I mean is, if you are heading to the porch to pick up a delivery, we don't say I'm coming like ne wayo. We say instead ne kayo. It literally means I'm going. So like this, if you don't know these subtle differences and just simply translate English or your language in Korean, you might make mistakes. So the second study method I would like to introduce you is learning all of this through fun storytelling lectures. But I'm a bit cautious as it's a paid course, but I've also negotiated a lot with story learning to offer huge benefit to you. I've been involved in planning and making the full beginner Korean course for a few years now. Currently, I have completed 30 lessons as a teacher. And the greatest advantage of the course is its narrative-driven approach. Let me explain this. Basically, you can learn Korean from one interesting story. And the story of that course starts with a mysterious event involving a suspicious guy wearing a gun, you know, the traditional Korean head. By the way, I created that storyline. <laughs> By naturally following that interesting storyline, you can can even observe and learn Korean honor fix, how Koreans think, Koreans language habit naturally, and also how we deliver our emotions with certain tones or certain intonations. So this kind of language environment can deeply immerse you. This course is perfectly tailored for beginner levels, like I've included the basic patterns and all the fundamental vocabularies, particles, and so on. And right now, the intermediate Video courses are being added one by one every week. So this allows for progressive, systematic, and efficient learning tailored to your level, your pace, ensuring effective learning for each level. Additionally, in the course, there are separate lecture videos that fully explain the grammar, vocabulary, and particles for each chapter. So if you fail to master every chapter of the study, of course you can study with those videos. You can also read articles about Korean culture such as Korean food, K-pops, Korean travel, and so on every chapter. And you can review what you learn from the chapter through interactive quizzes. If you truly want to study Korean properly, then trying out this course would be beneficial. So, behold everyone, <laughs> this is the benefit that you can get. I brought this promotion to you by continually negotiating with story learning. Thank you, by the way. So if you're interested in, please click on the link I'm providing. It's 
called storylearning.com slash Miji, M-I-N-J-I. By the way, it's exclusively for my YouTube subscribers. So it's just between you and me, it's just between us. <laughs> you can get the beginner course for $97 instead of the usual $297, yes a massive sale right so if you're interested in i hope you'll take a look at it all right so that's it for me thank you so much for watching and if you have your own tips for learning korean or speaking like a native korean please share please leave a comment down below then i'll see you in the next video 한국어는 민지쌤과 bye thanks for watching